What's happening, PD peeps? Today, I'm going to show all of my powerful PD peeps how to make the tilt shift effect using the Power Director Mobile Video Editor app. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. The tilt shift effect makes the illusion of a super shallow depth of field, which makes the image appear like we're looking into a diorama or a miniature model. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the tilt shift effect for your videos. Let's tilt things just a wee bit. First, you need to bring your clip into the timeline. So let's tap on the media icon. And let's make sure that we're under the video tab. Go to the location on your device where your videos are located. And then tap on the video that you want to use and tap the plus sign and it'll add it to your timeline right where your playhead is. Now let's tap back and let's tap back again. Next, we need to add some blur to the situation. So we're going to go ahead and tap on this clip. We're going to tap on effects. And then we're going to look for an effect called Gaussian blur. Once you find it, you want to tap on that. And then you want to tap it again to adjust the settings. And we see that the degree is at 17. So let's tap on that. And we'll bring this degree all the way up to its maximum, which is 80. Then we'll tap back and we'll tap back. Now we need to duplicate this clip to the overlay track. So let's tap on the overlay icon. We'll go to the video tab. We'll go to the location on the device where the video is located. We'll tap on it again. And then we'll tap the plus sign to add it to the overlay track. Now you should add it right where the playhead is, right underneath the other clip. Now let's tap back and let's tap back. And we'll tap on the clip so that we can go ahead and pinch out on it to resize it to make it fill the screen. So we'll pinch out. Now we'll need to add a mask so we can see the cyclist in the middle and the blur will only be at the top and the bottom. So we got to pick the right type of mask for this. But before we do that, I want to move this clip to a location where the cyclists are all kind of like in the middle of the screen so that I can set up my mask correctly. And now that I have my playhead where I want, I'm going to go ahead and tap on mask. And let's go ahead and pick the parallel mask because that one will allow us to have the middle of the screen masked out and the top and the bottom will still see the blur. So we'll place our finger over one of these nodes until it turns blue and we'll drag this up. And then we'll bring the whole thing down and try to center it so that we have the cyclist in the middle of the screen and the blur is kind of even at the top and the bottom of the screen. So we're going to go ahead and use this slider here on the right to kind of feather the mask so it's not as sharp there in the middle. So we're going to move this slider up to around four and that's uh, enough feather for me. Then we'll go ahead and tap on back and tap on back. And next we need to bring up the contrast and the saturation in both of these clips. And this will make the cyclist stand out and look kind of like they're miniaturized or in a diorama. So. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and tap on the clip at the overlay track. Then you want to tap adjustment and you want to start off with contrast. We'll move the contrast up to around 30. Then you want to tap on saturation and you want to move the saturation up. I'm going to move mine up to about 130. And then when we're done with that one, we want to tap on the main clip because we got to change the contrast and saturation to match. So we'll go ahead and move the contrast up to the same number and the saturation as well. And then everything kind of looks like one clip and it's all blended together. And now let's play this back and see what it looks like. The shift has been tilted. If you like what you see, I'll leave a link to try out Power Director Mobile in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my logo to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.